Twitter is very constrained. It's very short. The thing goes for it. It then skates. It's not very good for conversations, but sometimes you do a conversation in those sites. But it's mostly just a place to drop your things that you agree with. You kind of look at the video and say, I like this video. I want to share it with people who want to know what I'm sharing. And this is what you do on both sides. I mean, just, yeah. This is what most people do. And very few tweets or uh, dents or anything like that don't have links in them. Because otherwise it'll just be like some very short main statement. Not even a full sentence, a really short sentence. It's... I mean, I, I think it's a, I found Identica and Twitter very good um, news aggregators uh, for subjects that are of interest to me. And I mean, I have, I think I have subscriptions to quite a few sites, uh, probably about 15. But even so, I still get surprised by uh, some real gems of articles that have been found on Twitter or Identica. I was going to say, this is really important, actually. One of the dangerous things, though, about those Twitter things is a lot of people don't subscribe to, if, if you're on the site, okay, they subscribe to you via a third-party service. For example, they'll subscribe to your Twitter feed. So if you stop using Twitter, even though people might like your website, they will not come to the website because they subscribe to you via a different mm. service. This is what used to be one of the issues with uh, uh, FeedBurner, which had been acquired by Google at some stage. This is one of the reasons the tech bytes, people probably yeah, know tech bytes is like available in some way in Google okay, in web and format. But we never advertise, we never give any links to YouTube. Because the concern is that people will start to just use YouTube as, you know, it's just a show on YouTube. And I don't want that. And you don't really want people subscribing to the show as a YouTube show. You prefer people to subscribe to the show. So if the show changes format or it decides not to do things on YouTube anymore, it doesn't have to rely on this medium. And if you find lots of the most popular channels in YouTube, even the most popular user there, it's, uh, it's Real William Johnson or something like that. They try and create blogs outside of YouTube because they are so stuck in YouTube. Because all of their subscribers are only going to come for their content as long as they're on YouTube. And they are really constrained by what Google is doing. If Google changes the format of the page, you know, they're screwed. You know, they have to comply with that. They have to always be bound by what Google is doing. If they do it in YouTube. And in the case of Twitter, if, if your subscribers basically are just on Twitter, you're stuck with Twitter, because if you want to keep the same people who are interested in part of your community, you have to keep up with the same service, and you have to keep up with the same third party, and they exploit that uh, dependency. It's kind of like they're your pimp in some ways. Uh, you have to go through them to get through to your readers. And, and, and this is why I worried, and this is why I asked you before about the centralized and centralized services. It's, it's quite dangerous when those companies basically open up the doors and connect with people, because the people could communicate directly with each other. If every person had a blog, you could still connect those blogs. And in WordPress, you could actually give semantic data, like this is a friend of mine, this is a member of family, and you put it in the links, it goes into a uh, something that interprets the relationships. And each person could have his own website, his own blog, uh, his own operating system running on the server of choice, his own domain, his own version of WordPress, or even Drupal, because it's a very unified uh, interface. That's, that's really embedded in S, S, SG as well. Uh, so, so, so these things are being driven away in some ways because everybody's just running to those centralized services instead of creating their own uh, independent, uh, uh, shall we call independent sites. You, you, today you probably call it an island instead because the, the web is now comprising all those big communities like Huffington Post, and Twitter, and Facebook, and 4chan, and all kinds of stuff. And these sites really attract massive amounts of people, and each one of those people has like an account inside those sites instead of creating a site of their own. They basically go into a hosted service somewhere on the net. Well, before we finish for the day with the last track, we'll just do a bit of a dent off here with um, comparing stats. Roy, I don't know if you've got your Identica up, but um, I've seen quite a few people make uh, make reference to this before, so I'm just interested. I've never asked you this question before. Um, have you got your Identica account up at the moment? Well, you, uh, well I have. Uh, you should use uh, it's, it's a KDE based client. Right, marvelous. Can you tell me your user ID number? Because I'll give you mine. We'll see who's got the lower one. I believe you. I know you will have the lower one, but I just want to see how different I am to you. And also, I want to know when you joined as well. We're going to have a dent off. You well, see. In, uh, yeah, I think I joined in February 2009. A person called Tony who was in the IRC channel was convincing me to join it. 
It was actually pressure for him to join me. It was like, oh, I'm going. <laughs> I so now I'll probably just do 20 deaths. 50,000 50, later. Did you, did, you ever, did you ever play the game Top Trumps when you were young? The card game where you had to compare the stats, no? Because this is what this is going to be. We're going to have a look at our stats and we'll compare oh. stats on Identica in a minute. So joining February 17th, 2009. I joined 28th of May, 2009. So what's your user ID? What number are you? These are ID 40,262. Oh, I'm not too far behind you. I'm 57,601. Now, here's the big one. This is, a, this is the, the decider. What's your daily average of posts? I know you're going to floor me on this. 55. <laughs> but you, know, you know, the interesting thing, though, is around December, uh, and that was the WikiLeaks. Remember, the WikiLeaks thing was really stirring up lots of controversy and a lot of backlash. I was really, really getting very enthusiastic about it. I spent several hours a day on the... And then I would post like almost 200 a day, almost an average. And prior to it, my average was about 40 a day. So that really pushed up my average. But now I'm posting a bit less than that. Well, it usually depends on events in there. My average is three. So I think on the basis of that, you've absolutely destroyed me on the stats thing. And on that note, we're going to leave with yet another choice of yours, because you've done all the work for this show, as uh, as has been your way for the last uh, few few yeah, episodes, because I've had no time at all. So thank you. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just reading the news. <laughs> Since you mentioned the, the, the reason I, 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 I think I kind of uh, stay on top of things is because I really spend many hours, and I give away a lot of my free time to just do this like on a completely voluntary basis, and I keep track of news, and this is why I post in Identica. My, my, sort of my personal assignment from my point of view is just like try to keep people informed of what happens in the Linux world and the way I share it to you through sites like Identica. So, so, so it's, it's kind of a side effect. The way, the, 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 the fact that we can do the show and we can have quite a bit of, I believe, pretty accurate information is the fact that I have to go through a load of headlines and things and analyze them to have some blog posts and stuff. And, and that's just a side effect. It's the fact that we can do the show and have sufficient uh, number of stories and sufficient number of things to discuss. That's just a really nice thing that we can, uh, we can hopefully even uh, the way we, we used to do it. You know, we used to do it every two days the first mm-hmm. month. You don't find the time now. <laughs> it's, well, on that note, I will do my roundup for the day. And uh, thank you very much for downloading this episode. I hope you'll uh, join us again. Uh, any feedback, you've, uh, our respective email addresses are found on our sites. So please feel free to send insults, abuse, whatever you like, to those email addresses. And we'll try to to read it out uh, when we get the chance to. Um, we're coming up to our first year of Tech Bytes very shortly. I believe it's going to be November or October. I'll have to double check the date. But, um, we're discussing it. I think we discussed hopefully we're going to make it too long now. Um, I think we started to talk about it towards the end of October. Mm. Uh, and then we're just doing some technical things, just checking we can do all the recording. So with the first episode was at the end of October. And I think we published the episode on the 1st of November. That's episode 1. We should probably as well. Well, we've got, uh, hopefully... We'll have a little change and a little reorganisation for its first year. Um, we'll have no excuse after being doing it for a year, and it's, uh, it has been a pleasure so far doing every episode. So we'll look forward to talking to you next time. Like I said, any feedback you've got, uh, please send it to us. And uh, if you want to join uh, Diaspora, please, please get in touch with me. Uh, I think it's a really great service, and I'm more than happy to send anybody an invite who just emails me there their email address so I can send one to them. So with that in mind, we'll go back over to Roy and he's going to introduce the last track for today. Which is Thursday and it's by it's Orchid and Hound. This feel honest, nothing is new There's no surprises, the clothes you wear Do they make you feel better? A big house, a career What do they matter? Tuck 